everybody welcome back this is my seventh update to pan that palette if you've been following me you know that I have already completed eight of my initial ten eyeshadow shades I finished my first ever palette for last month in the update you saw the blue one was completely empty so then I was just left with this black palette from Ulta and this pan has expanded. It used to just be like a stripe diagonally through it. And I don't know that you can see it, but there's a little baby pan right there. So I'm very excited that I hit pan. That was a goal of mine to hit pan in delicate this is the shade that I use as my brow bone highlight, my highlight on my face, because it's a really nice highlight, actually. It gives me like this subtle, natural um, highlight, but it still can be a little, you know, you can see it when the light hits. So I'm really enjoying using it for that. I also use it as my inner corner highlight. Because it's cool toned gold, so it looks really good with my greens. I tried to use Nostalgia as a highlight. It did not work out, so Nostalgia is just used in the inner third of the eye. But I am very pleased to have expanded pan in Nostalgia, to hit pan in Delicate, so that makes me very, very excited. Um, okay, so the 10 shades, I thought it would take me a little longer than six months to finish eight of them. And I didn't know if I was going to continue with the project after I finished these two. And I was talking to Aaron who created this year's theme, Panning Solitaire. And I decided to bring in a quint of shadows. They are all out of my Lorac Mega Pro 2. So these are my five shades. This is Moonlight, which is something I've used as a highlight before. That's how I got Pan. And it's very thin, whoops, sorry, very thin in the middle. So this can continue to be a highlight. This is, oh, is it Bisque? Let me try to pick it up. I don't have the names on the back. Um, I, I think it's Bisque. But it's just a matte shade. It's more white than um, cream. So I use that to set my eyeshadow primer. This is Sorbet, which could also be used as a uh, matte shade to set my primer. This is Goji. I Love Goji. Goji is one of my favorite shades out of my Lorac Mega Pro 2. Tangerine was another one, of which I've already finished Tangerine. But I was having issues with Goji in the crease, but I can wear Goji on the lower lash line. Or, you know, the under eye. And then this one is Forest. Right? Is it Forest? I think so. But it's a beautiful green, which is what I'm wearing to darken the outer third of my eye. My goal for this is to finish Moonlight, hit pan in Bisque, we're going to call it Bisque, Sorbet, and Forest. Yes, I'm going to name my own shades. I would like to expand pan in goji and then 
yeah, I said I want to finish Moonlight. So those are my goals for these five. To continue with Panning Solitaire. Along with these two shades. And once I finish these two shades, I will have completed the initial 10 shades here. But also my Pan That palette for 2018, which is very exciting to me to complete it finally. And I'm also working on shades out of my 2019 Pan That palette, which was the Lorac Mega Pro 2. So I like that I'm working through things that I've already started, you know, to... I was trying to pan, complete. So I'm really enjoying this project. And you guys should check out the other participants in this challenge. They had some amazing ideas for the ones that I have seen. I haven't seen everyone's. Some people are just pulling, um, you know, they're pulling their singles, their duos, their trios, and their quad, and they're just trying to hit pan. And if they hit pan on, you know, because we're going in the order of solitaire, the ace, the two, the three, the four, five, all the way to the king. And that's how they've been doing it. Um, Kana has been pulling cards, actually playing solitaire because Miss Nat is one that's hitting pan and rolling things out. Um, there have just been so many amazing pro thought processes for the other individuals doing this project. It's been a blast to watch. It's been a blast to participate. It's been, this year has been so great for me. With completing eyeshadows, I've already completed 10 for the year, which makes me so very, very excited. So I hope you guys enjoyed this update. If you did, please hit that thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do. I would love to have you. And if you've already subscribed, thank you very much. I want you guys to be safe, be well, peace.